Welcome to Let's Play Rule the Ways 2 as France starting in 1920. This is episode 46, and we are in our fourth month of war with Britain with almost complete parity in victory points, not blockaded, unrest only one. Yeah, there haven't been any major battles, but who knows what's going to happen next. So, um, so far, it seems a pretty successful strategy. I've got two months left on this uh, battleship that's um, refitting. We've got 12 months on these new breed of coastal submarines. So I don't think we can bring many more forces to bear quickly with the exception of armed merchant ships. And I've, I've never really rated them. You know, they take four months to build and then they take another four or five months to work up. Um, I've never really been in a war where they've been super useful. And currently, I just haven't really got the budget and I don't have the buffer to uh, start spawning out an armed um, merchant cruiser force. So we're going to seek to defeat Britain both on the battlefield and in the submarine warfare. I wonder, because I've got quite a lot of submarines now, uh, 64, I wonder how that's impacting uh, Britain at the moment. They have invaded uh, in Southeast Asia. That is to be expected. I will be losing colonies, but let's uh, see what happens over here. Now, classically, I get a oh, my soul light cruiser. Okay, so we have to plow on. Let's just check the time. So uh, it's an hour to dusk. So for once, the whole dusk thing is working in my favor. I can't control the speed, so let's just uh, let it move. Well, that didn't take long. So there's one there. So crank up to maximum speed, just to remind you. It's uh, the 4B is a just a classic good old interwar 7,500 ton light cruiser of no particular note whatsoever. I am going to, given the situation uh, high pong over there, I am just going to turn that way because the likelihood that this chap is alone <laughs> is pretty low, as you can see. Oh, yes. So... As usual, we are probably going to have to hightail it off. And yes. So, that was a quick battle. Still, all the better. Just trying to understand the results here. We had a light cruiser. They had two plus five destroyers. They lost 100 points. And I'm thinking, why? Well, they had one operational loss from their aeroplanes. So well, that's fine. Leave that. A draw. That's fine. I can I can draw to my heart's content. It's not going to bother me. The Tourville has finished working up. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the fleet, Tourville. So the army wants a slice of the resources. Given that I'm already minus two and a half thousand, I'm going to say no to that. It's not often. In my experience, the diverting money to the army creates very much. Usually the battles are indecisive. Occasionally I've seen sort of 1,000 victory point victories by the army, but I can achieve that in a good thumping defeat at sea. And some amphibious, which unfortunately we're not going to get a lot of opportunity to uh, deal with this time. Still, that's our sixth research breakthrough, and it's only just coming into April. A few little victory point losses for uh, random stuff, which... And oh, they've struck a mine. That's nice. Shame for their seaplane carrier. Uh, what's going on here? We are being unrestricted, so that might affect us. I'm... I'm kind of surprised that their shipping losses are so low, seven, but there you go. And we have 58 submarines 
Uh, oh, that. Oh, we, we are blockading them. Well, that's nice. And a surprise. If I go to the Almanac, yeah, 58 submarines. We are losing a lot of submarines quite quickly. Um, oh dear. At least that means we are heading for a draw, even if we are going to lose colonies as a consequence. It's, it's weird. It's a very kind of different war. I mean, you know, when you fight the Italians or the Soviet Union, you know you're going to win. Yes, individual battles, how will they go? It might be a draw. Occasionally, you might get into trouble. I say you, I might <laughs> get into trouble. Um, but here... Every time we come up with some sort of battle, it's a bit of a seat of a pants affair. Can I convert it to a win or can I escape by the seat of my pants? So let's see how my pants are doing now. And a coastal rage. It's large, lots of battleships and stuff. Now this is weird. Our forces are 11 battleships. Theirs are... Three battleships and four battle cruisers. We've got four carriers, they've got one. We seem to have preponderance in Northern Europe. Um, well, so be it. <laughs> oh dear. So, yes. So they've got about 300 aeroplanes, we've got about 600. I'm not sure if that includes the carriers. Suppress enemy airfields. Hmm. So, attack enemy ships in general. Well, I mean, you can't do any wrong. Suppress enemy airfields, attack the objective. So, I certainly don't want to attack the objectives. I think I'm going to try and suppress the enemy airfields so that they're less of a threat. They can mount fewer raids on me. That seems to be a good idea. Let's, oh, and we're straight in. No nonsense. Wow, that's, that's a good old major fleet from my part. So let's have a little look at this in detail. Okay, so this is a big fleet. Up here we have a cruiser force centered on the Montcalm and the Gideon heavy cruisers. In the middle we have a small but fast battle force around the Democratie, the Tourville and the Route de Table. Then we have a carrier force centered on Chateau de Foix, Assoul, and Joffre, as well as the Pan Levé and the Lafayette, and bonus, the Dixmont and the Trident. Crikey, that's a lot. Actually, when I was looking at this, I missed the, uh, the Dixmont and the Trident. So if we. Ah, right, there they are. Um, so they are part of the battle force. Now, I'm concerned. The Trident, I should call her the Trident, Let's see if we can bring her up, is, yes, is my old first carrier conversion. I thought I'd sent her to the Mediterranean. I may have sent the wrong light carrier to the Mediterranean. Oops. Uh, that's going to be a bit of a problem because um, she's well protected in some respects, but she's slow at 23 knots. And although she's part of the battle force, uh, that could all be a bit of an issue. Hmm. I'll have to correct that once, I, um, once this battle is done. So here we are. Scouting force, battle fleet, carrier fleet. The carriers combined have 395 aeroplanes. Every single carrier is uh, stuffed to the gills except for the Chateau de Foix, which is missing one plane out of its capacity of 100. Um, so that's huge. We have a, a good old-fashioned bombardment target uh, just north of Harwich here on the East Anglian coast of Britain, a place I visited personally many times when I went off from Harwich to the Hook of Holland to see my Dutch relatives. Here we've uh, 
already seen a ship of some sort. The good news is we have seven and a half hours to destroy the target. Um, with a, the British fleet from all of this. It's hard to know. I mean, the most likely vector is that they're coming from the north somewhere. I suppose equally they could come from the south, but that's the sort of thing the battle generator tends not to do. So I'm going to presume that it's the north or, or maybe this kind of angle, or indeed that kind of angle, but probably not there. We'll see. Let's first of all sort out our... Oh, I didn't realize that. I was trying to bring up this um, search and cap dialogue. It'll only come up when you have one of the forces selected. So if we go to the heavy cruisers, they have some. Now, bear in mind that our reconnaissance is limited from float planes to about 200. So that will be fine. And I doubt they have that many. They probably only have four. So let's do four. Let's bring this down. One, two, three, four. And that, at 200 miles, that does take a, a fair old distance. Hmm. I may bring it down to 150. Because that's still a perfectly viable uh, amount. So let's set the scouting forces off to do that. Then we have the battle fleet, and for the battle fleet, we can bring it down maybe to a hundred. And oops, I don't know why it seems to default to one degree when that actually isn't very helpful. So I'm just going to send a couple off in that direction and I'm going to set their cap to maximum. Obviously no point setting the cap for the scouting force because they have no fighters whereas the battle fleet does. And then for the carriers, let's see what we want to bring for them. Cap to maximum feels like the prudent thing to do. 200 mile an hour. 200 mile search. And I don't need that, that kind of distance. One, two, three, four. I'm, I'm happy-ish with that. So the notional objective is to destroy this. So we will send the cruisers in that direction anyhow. And the battle fleet will follow suit. And the carriers will kind of occupy a position over here. At least that's the plan. Let's see what happens. Yes, and yes. Oh, well, we start shooting immediately. So I'm going to take this up to squad max is 33. That seems a bit excessive. Let's take it to 26. And the Battle fleets, 28. Let's push them up to 26 as well. And the carriers, I think, ditto. Oh, hello. What the heck's going on here? I'm not liking the look of that at all. We will... So the ship up there would appear to be some sort of... I want to take the carriers pretty straightforwardly away from this destroyer. The destroyer is at five knots already, so something's hurt it. But still, I don't want uh, that to be a thing too much. So the Ribble is being hit by five inch guns, uh, four inch guns from the Chateau Foy. I mean, we should not be engaging. <laughs> The destroyer with our guns. Hmm. Obviously, it's not enjoying the experience, but I'm not enjoying the experience of having it so close. Thank you very much. Uh, hey, here's a. Oh, crikey. 
we really stumbled across it. So there's a that's where the um, Corvette, British Corvette, is. It's the destroyer I'm concerned about. So let's get this light cruiser in to sort it out. There's another ship over there that I don't really care about. One over here, which is another Corvette. I imagine that's a Corvette too. The Ribble is heading towards Harwich, which is fine by me. I'm going to put the light cruisers back onto screening. It would be nice if the Ribble is taken down, but it doesn't really matter. What are these guys doing? They are scouting. Well, mm, okay. So, any reports? Nope. Uh, yeah, let's pick up some free victory points. So we've opened fire on the target, so I'm going to bring the speed down. Let's just zoom in a bit. The bombardment target is 16,000 yards away. Tridon has spotted a submarine. I wonder if it's a real one. Not much I can do about that. Not least because some of these ships have just gone off on their own. I wonder about putting the carriers onto automatic. The Ribble is done for. There's another British destroyer. And another. I mean, they all could have been very inconvenient, really. So I'm very happy that, uh, and I've hit the bombardment target with a 10 inch. And again, and again, and again. So the bombardment target isn't long for this world. Bang, bang, bang. Drop it down to cruise and have a leisurely target practice. Ooh. Ah, five hits from nine 10 inch guns. Surely it's going to be destroyed any moment. And there you go. So let's take the battleships and these chaps out. I'm going to take these back up to 26 knots or thereabouts. And see about, I don't know, heading back. Okay, it didn't like being independent. Let's go back. Ah, oh, okay. I was going to say, ah, uh, it's a merchant ship. Okay, nothing too exciting there. So, Let's get away from the British coast. I mean, there are various reports, but I don't think they're going to be terribly exciting. Carriers are rushing around 29. Should we bring them down to 20? I have forgotten, as is my want, to prepare any strikes. So let's do that. Sudden rush of the blood to the head with so many planes to play with. Okay. So we will try and coordinate them. We will get some dive bombers and torpedoes uh, on the Sul, and we will get some dive bombers and torpedoes on the Chateau de Foy. 
Is that enough? I've got 20. I could have some more dive bombers. And the sh oh, that is the Chateau de France. Okay. And some more dive bombers. Make them all heavy. And let's ready them. So that's carrier div 9 on number 12. This is just the Joff dive bomber and torpedo bomber. Heavy. Ready that strike. On 15. Dive bomber and torpedo bomber on the Lafayette exceeds its deck load. Let's go dive bomber. And actually, no, let's go torpedo bomber because they're longer ranged. And then on the Pan Levy, a torpedo bomber and a dive heavy, ready for that, and on 28, the Dixmund, let's get their dive bombers, heavy, ready that strike, and then finally on, no, that is the final one, okay, so we'll exit that, and go back to Seeing what we can see. Uh, yes, we'll um, be humanitarian about it. That's going at 26. That's going at 26. Let's get it to follow behind the carriers. The carriers are going at a pedestrian 20 so that the battleships um, catch up. Incomprehensible error message. It's one of those are popping up for me quite regularly, and yet nothing seems to happen. So we've got reports up here. Oh, should have been paying attention to these. So the time at the moment is 20 past 12. So the most recent has one there from an airship. Uh, one there at 12 o'clock. So it thinks at 10.2 uh, over there, there were a force of light carriers and cruisers over here, battle cruisers over there. Mm. So it obviously thinks there is something up here, three battle cruisers. It's um, very inconsistent reporting. So let me just get rid of the ones don't want. So I've got rid of the ones which just mention single destroyers and merchant ships, and the reports all put the enemy around about here. Two battle cruisers, two battle cruisers, two battle cruisers, three battleships, two battle cruisers, uh, oops, forgot that one, a carrier and a light carrier, two light carriers, three uh, cruisers, possibly two forces. Just get this one and that one are both claiming to be carrier forces. The rest are all various combinations of battle cruisers or battleships around that lot. So given that I'm well stacked, the time is six hours and 15 minutes. I am, unfortunately, the wind is uh, kind of in the wrong direction, but it feels like this is a nice time to go and launch some strikes against that lot. We haven't got the strikes quite ready. No, nope. let's exit. Let's turn the carriers north so that they uh, don't put too much distance. Uh, well, I say they're not ready. Yes, they are. Yeah, let's go and pick up a survivor. That's fine. Send this down. It'd be nice actually just to put it onto automatic for the flight operations. And let's sort out some airstrikes. Where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? So, ready and ready and ready. Chateau de Foy is not ready. That's what you get for uh, inexperienced. They're mainly poor. Whereas these guys are veterans and experts. So, let us set the... Priority targets to CVs, the location up to be here, 
which is only 52 miles. It's nothing. And let's launch that. Launching now or soon. Oh, so expected the target at 150 and back at 217. Uh, That's Division 9, Division 12. Again, they are ready. Let's change their position to say one of these. Launch. And then the third carrier division. They have their torpedo bombers ready. So let's launch them in that direction. I'm, you know, just creating a spread. The last carrier division also has some dive bombers ready. And let's launch them uh, a little bit further up to there. Launch. It seems to me that since the reports are inconclusive, you might as well spread them around and see which ones find uh, the real fleet. Will the real fleet please stand up? Enemy aircraft approaching us. Oops. More. So the Pan Levé and the Chateau de Foix are ready. So our cap are attacking a pile of dive bombers. Hmm. I was going to say, let's hold those in reserve. Let's get them off the deck just in case there is um, any kind of uh, nonsense going on. So yes, yes, and yes. And target them, these guys, as our most recent piece of intelligence. Well, actually, yes, let's target them. OK. And launch that. And then off on the pan levy. There we go through the pan levy. Boom, boom. Let's send them to that second one. And again, launch. So that's got all that ready uh, or launched. Let's go back and look at our various ones. So I'm going to hide anything under four. So we've got one and two. Shame you can't sort them by status. And then here we have those three. Set them all to heavy. They're flying, flying, flying. OK. So I'm going to ready them and go to carrier division 12. Those two set to heavy. Ready them. 15. These, these, and these. Set to heavy, ready strike. And then on here we have these chaps heavy all of them that's all of them okay so first wave of strikes launching second wave of strikes uh, being set 